Cyberpunk 2077. It's here and we finally get to play. My name is Teal Automaton and you can call me Auto if you like. I am so excited to start this game so let's jump in. Let's just go with normal, normal difficulty level I think. Now I've been thinking about what life path to choose for a while and I'm pretty sure that I am going to go Corpo. So it says, few leave the corporate world with their lives, few are still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. Now I want to choose Corpo because I want my character to, to be um, a massive techie. So basically I want to play a tech nerd that relies on like hacking and tech weapons. And I feel like having Corpo as my background would be like a good place to s perhaps start with that. Um, because I could pretend that, you know, my role in the company was some kind of tech role. And that's, you know, a lot of where I've got my experience from. So, yeah, let's go Corpo. I'm gonna be a lady. Oh, look, there's V. There's the um, promo V. She's very pretty. Let's look at all of them. Oh wow, she's gorgeous. Look at that hair! Oh wow. I love it. Was this the first one? I don't think so. She's also gorgeous. What's this then? Whoa. You can randomly generate them! She looks so cool. Oh, I love this. Look at the eyes. Oh, wow. I can see myself spending so much time just looking through hair. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, it's so good. And I love how, um, like just the sheer amount of body modifications that you can have. And you can have freckles and makeup is, you know, really interesting. And there's all these different types. Oh, there's a moko. There's a woman wearing a moko. Um, I'm from New Zealand and that's a Maori face tattoo. Whoa. I don't know what this kind of um, face modification is called. Um, but damn, it does look cool. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that. I'm just looking through them because I want to get some inspiration, really. Um, because I, I am corporate, but I don't want my character to look too straight-laced. Oh my goodness, look at the indentations in her skin. I love the metal hair ties. How you actually get your hair into one of those, I have no idea. Oh, I love the eye work on that one. Okay, all right, let's start making someone. Now, whose base face shape do I want to start with? I think I really like her face the most. Okay, let's listen to some voices. I'm V. <laughs> I'm V. I'm V. I'm V. Okay, we get two voices. All right, time to speed this thing up. Um, I actually spent about an hour and a half making my character in real time, so I'm not going to make you sit through that. Um, but I'll, I'll talk you through uh, what I went through and I'll talk you through the character creator. So the first thing that I did, I like to do when I make a character, is focus on facial features before hair. But what I'm doing here is I'm just changing the hair up a little bit to give her the vibe of the kind of character that I want to make. And then I'm going to focus on facial details and before the, the final details of makeup and hair. So I was trying to look at different eye shapes, but she had on such heavy eye and lip makeup. So I removed that so I could see what was going on and I gave her the kind of brows that I wanted. There are some really nice brow shapes to choose from. I chose the um, heaviest brows that I could find. I do love a strong brow and I went with these like Cara Delevingne shaped brows. I'm really happy with them because you don't always get to have a strong brow in your character creators, but this one had it and I'm so happy that it did. 
And then I went for eye color before choosing eye shape as well because I knew the kind of eyes that I wanted to have. So I wanted to get that done before the shape. And you can see there's quite a lot of swatches to choose from, but not a lot of natural colors to choose from. I mean, there's hardly any natural colors there at all. Um, usually I go for like a blue eye color. I just like to choose blue eye colors, but there was only really one there and it wasn't the right shade. So I went with a swatch that is very, very much cyberpunk. It is the, um, you know, the black one. You can see it on the screen with the white circle and the white dots because I want my character to have quite a lot of um, cyberware. So I feel like that's her vibe is that she's very much a cyborg. <laughs> So when choosing your eye shapes, it was actually really interesting because you're not just choosing the shape of your eyes, when you're choosing your eye shape, you're also choosing the shape of your forehead. And there weren't a lot of um, brow colors at all. Um, I think there were like six brow colors to choose from. So I just kept black because I wanted to have dark, strong brows anyway. And um, then we went on to choosing the nose. And there are so many different nose shapes to choose from. It was really good. I was quite impressed. And you can see the way that the character creator is morphing between nose shapes. It feels so natural. It is so well done. It is so well rigged. Um, just, just, I'm really impressed with this character creator. I really am. It's very nice and easy to use. Like some character creators, they feel a bit overwhelming um, because there are too many options. But this one, it has just the right amount of options, I felt. Um, so, you know, in this one I only spent an hour and a half instead of the entire day making my character as I usually do in these kind of intense character creators. I do feel that with a lot of the options that we were given, we're kind of pushed towards making a character that is more edgy because in a lot of the things like with hair color, eye color, brow color, um, there aren't many natural color shades. There, there are natural color shades there, but a lot of them are edgier colors. And they really, you know, I think they're kind of pushing you to make a character that that would really exist in the cyberpunk universe, which is good because usually I make such a boring like character. And this time I actually kind of went out of the box a little bit and I chose like more daring hair colors. And these eyes I would never choose in any other game, but I really feel like it fits in this one. So now I'm choosing mouth shapes, and there are so many different shapes to choose from. Mouth and jaw shapes, really good, but not so many that it's overwhelming. So with my character, I wanted to make somebody who looked like they would fit into the corpo lifestyle. So they're a little, little bit straight laced, but not too much. I wanted her to have a bit of an edge to her. So. She's got her cybernetic eyes, she's got a little bit of cybernetic details on her face, her hair colour is an unnatural colour, and I did do some interesting eye makeup at the end of it as well, but I still feel like it's toned down enough that her like being a suit in a big corporation makes sense. I was really pleased with the makeup choices and the choices for cyberware, and I'm really hoping that during the game we can actually change up our hairstyles and change up our makeup. So, because I would love if we could match the makeup that we, we were wearing and the hair that we chose to the outfits that we were wearing, that would be so fun. I don't know if that's an option, if we have to look one way during the entire game, but I really hope that it is an option because the hair is gorgeous. There were so many different hairstyles that I wanted to try. Same with the makeup, same with the lip color. It took me forever to pick one because there were just so many options that went together that I could choose. So with the cyberware, I did look through all the different options, but I ended up going with the ones that were on the default because I didn't want to do too much. I wanted to be able to see the shape of her face. I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. Um, and I didn't go with any facial scars, though I did look to see what they all were. And I didn't choose any tattoos either, but I also, I looked through those ones as well. The one that I like the best is definitely this one here. Um, it's the full on green, like it looks robotic and I really enjoyed that, but I just feel like it was a little bit too much for my character. So I chose not to get a tattoo. And then there's a bunch of piercing options as well. I ended up going with just um, some one ear pierced on the side, four piercings, 
done and done. And with piercings, there's just seven color options, which is fine. Again, they're not overwhelming you with options, which is actually kind of nice. I mean, when I was first doing it, I was, I was a bit surprised that there weren't that many options, that many color options for all the different things that you can choose from, but it's actually quite comforting not to have too many options so that you can get your character done and get her done quickly, you know. There's even the option to change your teeth. You can have metal teeth if you want or gold teeth if you want. I went with just regular teeth. <laughs> I really loved this two-tone lip color. I looked at it so many times trying to find the right shade. It was, it's, I, I quite like it. I quite enjoy it. I'd love to see what kind of characters you guys make and how you pair the makeup because with the eye colors, the lip colors, they were just really fun to play with. And sure, with the lip colors and the eye colors, there's only nine separate shades that you can choose from, but um, they look so good. They're so well designed, I feel. Really love that two-tone. I feel like it's something that you can't really do in real life, the two-tone lip, because <laughs> in real life the colors would blend together when you moved, but yeah, I still chose it. So with cheek makeup, there's just there's not many and it's kind of odd because with cheek makeup only one of them is actually a blush and the others are freckles so I'm interested in why they would have chosen to put the freckles instead of under skin type they put it in in uh, cheek color so that's weird and now for hairstyles there are so many gorgeous hairstyles there are so many different hairstyles that I would want to choose um, it took me forever to pick one. She looked great in basically everything, um, but I did end up going with a pulled back, short fringe, undercut. I think she look, definitely looks like she knows her way around a computer. <laughs> she looks like a hacker to me. So yeah, if you look at all the different um, swatches for hair color, there's only 24 colors. And I was actually just looking for a brown and there's like one one kind of brown that I might have considered but it wasn't really the shade that I wanted so I felt like I was being pushed out of my comfort zone to choose um, um you know like a dyed hair color an unnatural hair color like most of those colors there are not natural hair tones which I'm actually glad I'm glad that they push you out of the box like that I think the character definitely looks better because because of those limited options and you can even choose nails you can even choose the kind of nails that you want. I've, I've had to blur out her chest hair because she's actually naked in the character creator. There is an option in the settings to, um, it's like a nudity filter, which I will put on for subsequent episodes. I usually wouldn't choose any nail polish at all, but I felt that because her makeup was so edgy and so futuristic that her not wearing any nail polish suddenly looked odd. So yeah, there were quite a few that I liked. Um, I liked those, uh, the black and white ones the most, or the ones with the French tip in different colors as well for her aesthetic, but I ended up going with the brown and red. I was gonna go just like plain red, but I was like, it's not futuristic enough. It's not fashion forward enough. <laughs> I need to, <laughs> because look at her makeup. You know, this is a person who doesn't just do one color, you know. So in this uh, character creator, there are also um, several options for nudity. So there's three chest options, there's three nipple options. Um, there's also some, this isn't about nudity, but there's like tattoos and scars, which I can't show you. I'm sorry because she's naked and I can't remove the blur for YouTube. And um, regardless of whether your character is um, male or female, you can have either genitals, your choice. You can also choose your pubic hair and your pubic hair color, and there are five options for each. Um, so there's, there's my V. There's the character that I chose to make. I'm actually really happy with the way that she turned out. I love the way that the makeup looks all together. I think it really matches her hair. It ties into her gold jewelry. Love it. So moving on, we get to assign our attribute points. Now there are seven attribute points that we get to assign, um, but let me read the character skills. 
Each attribute contains a set of skills. Both attributes and skills provide different bonuses depending on your style of play. Skill levels increase as you perform activities associated with them. The maximum level of a skill is limited by the level of the attribute that it belongs to. Okay, so body. Body determines your raw physical power in addition to allowing you to force open doors, each level of body starting from level 3 will add 5 health points, add 3 stamina points, increase damage with fists and gorilla arms by 3, increase damage with melee weapons by 1.5%, decrease movement penalty while grabbing an enemy and wielding an HMG by 6%, increase movement while grappling an enemy and enemy grapple duration by 5 seconds. I'm surprised that you have to have some points in this because I would if it was my option I'd, I would take the points out of body and put them into intelligence or technical um, so intelligence intelligence determines your net running proficiency every level of intelligence will increase cyber deck ram capacity by 4% increase quick hack damage by 0.5% increase quick hack duration by 1% reflexes Reflexes determine your maneuverability. In addition to increasing your overall movement speed, each level in reflexes will increase your passive evasion from enemy attacks by 1%, increase critical chance by 1%, increase damage from mantis blades by 3%. Technical ability. Technical ability represents your technical know-how. It allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by 5%. And lastly, we have cool. Cool determines your resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level of cool will increase critical damage by 2%, increase all resistances by 1%, increase stealth damage by 10%, reduce the speed at which enemies detect you in stealth by 0.5%, and increase monowire damage by 3 So the kind of character that I want to play is basically a tech nerd. Um, so I kind of want to put a lot of points into intelligence and technical ability and I won't be putting any points into body now at all um, because I don't think that I will be using or at least I'm going to try to avoid using melee um, because mostly what I want to do if I have to fight would be using tech weapons and other kinds of guns and I want to do like a lot of hacking uh, yeah I want my character to be like a real tech head so let's go couple in here Maybe summon cool because she will need to be a bit stealthy actually. Um, maybe really good at tech. Yeah, I think those are the ones that I'm going to focus on. Intelligence, technical ability and cool. And I'll just kind of see how that plays. I'll see how that runs. Oh, <laughs> Elias V. Whoa, she looks so different. V, you there? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. You all right? <clears throat> Fine. <clears throat> I just needed a breather. It sounded like you blew your guts airlock. Ah, uh, yeah, I barfed. It's just stress. <sighs> Esa chamba te va a matar. <laughs> oh, you can cycle through dialogue choices with Q hey, and E. You all there, V? Um, you didn't. <laughs> um, not dead Don't yet. Worry. Not dead yet. Exactly. Yet. Anyway, what's going on? Is there a problem? <clears throat> we had a leak. My boss called. Dragged me in because we had to intervene. Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work in Arasaka Counter Intel, 
You're always fucked. Um, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'll manage on my own. Buena suerte. First time in Night City? Play close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable hints. No thank you, I would like all the hints you can give me. Go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials as well as to read up on the most important topics. Okay. I want to look back in the mirror. Oh. I can't look in the mirror again? I want to see my character. She looks so different to the character that I made. Okay, that's occupied. Yes? You want something? No. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Head to Jenkins' office. Jenkins, huh? Are they meditating? Look at his tech. That's so cool. They're very similar. You think Hello. Japan will find out? About what? About Frankfurt. I mean, it's a small leak, but still. Japan already knows. Where'd you hear this? Assume Japan knows everything. It's safest that way. Okay. Maybe I should just go where it tells me to go because they doesn't like I don't think I can interact with anyone. Hello. A lot of them have the same eyewear. Change in our history. The onset of American prohibition, the end of World War One. She's the most normal looking person here. From an early age, Saburo was heavily What's up, involved Arthur? in the business his Christ, V, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. Man, he quickly demonstrated I got held up. Got held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. Coming. You hurry up. Yeah, yeah. As a pilot in the Nippon Kaigu, the Japanese Imperial Navy. By the age of 23, he had already achieved the rank of lieutenant. With 20 confirmed aerial victories, he forever will be... Militech hit three of ours. Now we're evacuating the rest of our facilities in that part of Europe. What's the status of the three? They're dead. Once everyone else is safe, we'll issue a statement to them. Mr. Jenkins asked. Hey, V. He's hey. Been it's been ages. It's me, Frank. We met during Icefall. East Coast, remember? Um... I'm I'm in a rush, I'm sorry, but I, I do want to actually talk to him. Am I gonna get in trouble for doing this? I didn't know you were in Night City. How have you been? Uh, you know how it is. A week ago I was still in Cape Town. I heard your encounter intel. You must have a shit show on your hands right now after Frankfurt. Jenkins is your lead, right? Is he what everyone says he is? <laughs> um uh, what are people saying about Jenkins? Who do you work? What are people saying about Jenkins? What does everyone say about Jenkins? That he's effective. Like any psychopath. Apparently, he's gone a little crazier lately. Hey, he's in a tough spot. The director was supposed to greenlight his promotion when the Japanese arrived. She stabbed him in the back instead. Um, I want to keep asking questions, but I do have Listen, to go. Listen, sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush right now. We'll talk another time, okay? Sure, sure. Good seeing you again. See you, mate. Emergency protocols active. System security confirmed. Don't look, but that's her. Jenkins girl. Do I go in here? No. Please enter the antechamber. Visitor authorization granted. Are you online? Hey, Jenkins. Have a seat, V. Be right with you. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the Sea of Clouds. They're about to begin. What's the situation? Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, just as we thought. You know what to do. Start now. What the hell, man? Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep clean after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license. Now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance always. No nuance has you written all over it. We're not done talking about this. I hate that bitch. I always have. Um, have you worked together long? Always meaning how long? Before Night City, we worked on an assignment in Osaka. Two years of subterfuge. She spent them digging a trap for me. When she became director of Spec Ops. And that's when she finally shoved me in it. And now she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't try anything. But she won't pull the trigger because she needs me. I do what she doesn't have the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <sighs> Effective. What would you do in my position? Um, I have no idea. You have to defend yourself. Remind Abernathy you're not her doormat. You're right. Smack her once, but hard. She'll respect you. Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. Take this. I want to ask him about it first. The data shard. Proof of my trust. Go on, take it. It's what I've collected over the past weeks. Biometrics, trauma team card, names of her closest associates. Driver, chief of security, lover, lover's husband, everything. Use it, and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. You said it. I need to defend myself. Oof. This is a gamble, mate. If anyone finds out we even talked about this, I'll go down with you. That's true. But everyone knows you only made it to where you are thanks to me. So it's not like they could ever believe you played no part in it. What'll happen if I refuse? Don't ask stupid questions. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Use this money only. Find the right people for the job. No corporate affiliation. And for the core task, use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah, I think we're clear. Good. In that case, I'll await your report. And good luck with it. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. And don't disappoint me. Jenkins, Night City Counter Intel. Oh, his eyes are glowing red now. I need an analysis of the legislative procedures for lunar based licenses. Okay. Right. I have those reports you asked for? Um, sure, send them to me. I don't have the time, just send them my way. Hey V, you alive? How's things in the Viper P? Um, Viper Pit's putting it lightly. Viper Pit, yeah. Couldn't have said it better. You in some trouble? Not yet, just need a soul I can trust for now. That kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. I don't even know what the time is. Read the report on your personal terminal. Go to the AV garage. I have a terminal? Where's my terminal? How do I get there? 
How do I get inside? Where are the doors? <laughs> How do I get in? Okay, is this a joke? There's got to be an entrance. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Doesn't look like a door. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to pick up this card. What's the cognitive booster for? What is that? What am I done? What have I just done? <laughs> um, I don't know. Messages? Vacation with the stars. The crystal palace unbeatable offers? Is this just spam? Um, have you been to Thailand, Morocco, Alaska? More times than you can count. Looking for an adventure that isn't just another tour around Europe? Do you want to see how the world's biggest film and brain dance stars relax and party? Do you want to see the stars among the stars? Now you can. The Crystal Palace is offering a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to book an Earthview apartment, along with a cosmically gargantuan selection of vouchers for any of our award-winning restaurants and casino comps to get Lady Luck on your side early. And don't worry, we do everything to assure your stay is heavenly, but your bill is an astronomical. Okay. Previous week's results. Your biodata indicators are reading abnormally. High levels of cortisol, oof, catecholamine, <laughs> and adrenaline uh, persist from previous results. Hormone blocker usage is prescribed for only two weeks before requiring a baseline reset, but your usage has continued beyond three weeks. Recommendation, meet with your trainer to prepare a recovery plan. Okay, so I guess I'm sick or something. Postmortem Operation Wormy Apple from Arasaka Department of Analytics. The meeting of the Department of Operational Oversight Committee finds as follows regarding Operation Wormy Apple. The operation was executed without following proper procedure, thus putting agent lives and, more importantly, company reputation in jeopardy. The operation's success is due solely to the fact that Petra Kim committed errors which proved more costly than our own. All personnel involved in planning the operation will be subject to internal audit. We find the death of the Prague contact caused toxin-induced cardiac arrest, a direct result of poor planning. Required action, investigate all stages of operation planning from reconnaissance to implementation and the aim of isolating irregularities in procedure and or judgment. New Space Administration Bulletin. We are pleased to announce the opening of a new space in our Night City headquarters. Our scientists have meticulously curated authentic rainforest flora and fauna in designing our very own experimental self-sustaining ecosystem. More details coming soon. Okay. Um, okay, here's the report that guy was talking about, I think. After assessing data collected from contact reports in Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and Montana, we did not confirm any active NUSA efforts against Arasaka assets or operations in federal territories. However, the same conclusion cannot be drawn regarding potential threats from Militech. Although the corporation has obvious close ties to the NUSA government, we were unable to obtain valuable intel due to much tighter control on internal procedure and information flows. We must rely on unconfirmed circumstantial evidence obtained by our own field agents for the time being. Conclusion, further HUMINT gathering required. Current data are circumstantial and do not allow for indisputable conclusions. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, I'm gonna leave this. Um, sure, let's stand up. And we need to get to the garage. Now, how do we do that? I need your stamp on something. It's possible one of our assets was exposed. Uh, I don't really have time for this, dude. Is it Frankfurt again? No, different issue. Local. Tell me. Quick version. Our agent at Biotechnica suspects they might be on to him. 
They recently granted him red security clearance. That's top. He's been fishing for dirt, but it's been slow. Your point? They're clean. Like we run orphanages clean. Bleached server clean. We suspect they flagged him and are feeding him phony data. Should we green light Xfil or let him keep looking? Um, risks. I need to know the risks. Projected risks. Limited threat to life. Not Biotechnica style. Blackmail's possible. Leveraged against false accusations in the media. The guy has kids. He'd crack. Um, sure. Keep digging. Keep in there digging. We invested way too much getting him that deep to back out now. You sure? Do I really need to repeat myself? Oh, of course not. Pretty sure I'm gonna get fired by the end of this, so I don't really care. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. They must think it's weird I'm just running through an office. Tell your I'm a little I'm I'm a little bit surprised with the animations. They're kinda janky. Did you see the report on the boat? I mean shit. The world's going to tear us apart. Open. Access granted. Oh. Look at this. Cool. Please provide your destination. Um, yeah. Um, sure. Let's look at Bring analytics. up district analytics. Increased NCPD presence and activity has been reported in Haywood. No official statement has been forthcoming. Intercepted radio communications suggest MaxTac has been sent to the area. A widespread power failure has been reported in Santo Domingo. All other districts exhibit activity within expected parameters. Okay, Lizzie's Bar, please. Destination, Lizzie's Bar. Noted. En route. Um... Let's listen to the news. This is N54 News broadcasting with a breaking story for you. A conference of the European Space Council screeched to a grisly halt following a failure in a neural stabilization system. Five European Space Council members are dead, while three remain in critical condition. Authorities are still looking into what might have caused this shocking incident. The council members were all wearing biotechnica provided devices. The corporation's representatives have just as funny. yet refused to comment. Because this should be a fairly Our stressful situation. Is on we'll just have updates have a on developments drink. as they come to light. All in a day's work. Stay with M54 News for the latest. I do have um, all of my settings on Ultra, so, you know, this should be max graphics, really. Okay. Hello, V. Yes. We weren't scheduled to connect until the end of the week. Quantified Satori received notification of a somewhat troubling biometric reading. I felt I should call. Is everything in order? Um, let's do that one. Dealing with a temporary nuisance. Then you should worry about it. Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day, they'll soothe and lift your spirit. I know this. Sure, okay. See you later. Yeah, so I have my graphics set up to max. So. I, I, it's. I just played, um, the last big game I played was The Last of Us Part 2, like the last recent game that I played, and it doesn't quite match up, it's not quite matching up. No designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. I've seen that um, in the trailer, that electronic sign in one of the trailers. There were so many videos online. We have arrived at your destination. Fuck's your problems, 
psycho suit. This look like a landing pad to you. I'm not Could going to attack. I don't. Us. Out of uh -oh. my way. What? Who the fuck are you to say that to me? Arasaka counter intel. We done here. I don't want to attack them. <laughs> Couldn't use the front door like everyone else? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm in a hurry. Listen, I'm in a hurry, and you're wasting my time. Gonna keep an eye on you. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Lizzie's. So this is Lizzie's. Oh my gosh, someone's t -posed. First bug. Just started playing. We found our first bug. Is anybody else not loaded properly? Okay. I saw, um... Oh, what's his name? That dude's not having a good time. <laughs> Um, what's his name? The guy from the trailer. He was down here. Oh, I was wondering if that person was T-posing as well. But no, it's just that person up there not loaded in. Interesting. Don't come here often, do you? It's good to see you, Chica. Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a knot. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? We got sparks flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking, as long as you don't get flatlined. Yeah, you know how it is. Can't complain, but we ain't here to shoot the shit about me. Let me hear about this problem of yours. Um, yeah. Just give him the data shard. Data shard. Take it. What do you think? Won't come cheap. It'll have to be done on the sly. No trail. Hard eddies only. Got the money. Full crew job for sure. Techie, maybe two. A runner with a gold-plated brain. And a driver with wheels from hell. Not to mention a solo. Mm-hmm. The piece I'm missing. That what you need from me? My trigger finger to zero this lady? I'm gonna say this one. Delicate situation, I know. That's why I need somebody I can trust. This ain't no delicate situation, Emma. It's a hit job. Plain and simple. You know how Arasaka operates. Or, okay, maybe you don't. This isn't a professional request I can refuse. But I can. And I am. And you should too. Now. What do you say we lick her up and talk life? Gracias, mamita. Double tequila with grenadine and lime. Nothing better for drowning nerves. Sure, let's... Let's all have a drink with this. Jackie. Was that a toast? What the hell does that even mean? You raise a glass to your mama, your hermana. To the mamacita you'll meet at the bar. But this doesn't say a damn thing. <laughs> to this. Sorry. <laughs> this job and all the rest of that corpo bullshit. You know what it is? Un pacto con el diablo. Been saying it all along. Soldier, soldier, those Arasaka fuckers. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. Um, I don't think I have a choice, actually. I think I have a choice? If I refuse, they take everything and leave me nothing. Now, well, let them. They'll also take the fist they got gripping your balls. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty picky about who I let touch my balls. <laughs> Saburo and his matones, oh, they definitely do not make the cut. Maybe someday. But for now, I'm still well within their reach. You'll always be within reach. Always re Hey! You lost? Got a problem? V, is that right? 
Um, who are you? Did Jenkins send you? Don't believe I know you. You don't, but we know you very well. Jenkins assigned you a task today. You'll share all the details with us. No, I won't. Who are you? Name and department again. Didn't quite catch it the first time around. <laughs> Fuck! How you feeling? Pretty sharp dive, huh? Your access to company networks is hereby revoked. In two minutes, any company cybernetics in your possession will cease functioning. Give us the data you received from Jenkins. This will conclude termination procedures. How'd you find out? How the hell did you find out? That is not your concern. The data, now. I bet Jenkins set me up. <clears throat> Information's on the shard. Smart choice. I didn't have a choice. It was the last option to pick from. We done? With the formalities, yes. But I think Abernathy would gladly up our fee for ridding her of a piece of rot like you. Stand up. You're coming with us. Come on, move Bye, it. Bye, I think you fellows might have forgotten just how far from home you are. I'm not sure this body was your style, let alone a healthy option. Well, you start shooting, maybe we join in, huh? Before you know it, somebody might die today. We have what we came for. We'll do for now. Well done, Jackie. That was like three against one and they actually listened to his threat. No, there's something seriously wrong with her. I, I can't breathe. Need help? No, it's just withdrawal syndrome. Sort of think they cut off my hormone regulators. Biomon and sad analysis system. Body's got to adjust. Hey, hey, should I get you to a ripper? Or, I guess, maybe trauma team's on its way. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. TT policy's gone, Jack. So are my biochem controllers, company pad. I mean, they have seized my bank account, not frozen, seized. Jesus, these fuckers move fast. You sure you feel okay, though? I mean... Give me a minute. Get my shit together. <laughs> That'd be that, Jack. Just lost control of my life. Completely. I'd say you got it back. You couldn't say no to him. So they said it to you. This is a turn for the better. You'll see. Besides, you haven't lost everything. Yeah, I did, but I know that I know he's about to be like, you still have me. <laughs> That'll be nice. I to say, I, I still have a friend. Okay. That's sweet. <laughs> no, dumbass. You still got that wad for the hit job, don't you? Probably some fat ass chunk of cha chain. Just right for a new start. That's right, Chica. Buckle up. Hey, you hearing all right? So hot. V! V! Hey, hermana. Uh, your new life. It starts now. Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you gotta smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gods will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the boat. 
birthday, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a Ninja League player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. NC's Legends. Know where you'll find most of them? The Graveyard. Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The City of Dreams. All right, guys, that is the end of the first episode. It looks like Jackie let us stay with him for a bit and helped us get back on our feet after being kicked out of the corpo life and um, has helped us get our first apartment. So that's fantastic. I cannot wait to keep playing this game. I cannot wait to get out there and do missions and to just explore Night City. So if you guys enjoyed this, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I will see you for the next one.